ever had in your head idea for some great applications or video games, but you just lack time or resources or skills? Well, you know what? I found a great solution for you. It is AI that can generate full functional code. No, I'm not speaking about those gimmicky, you know, like before can create it, or I don't speak about one that half bake and you need continue. No, I mean, from beginning to end, it can create everything with absolutely zero coding. And when I say zero coding, I mean absolutely zero coding. So I was put myself on a quest. I want to find the service that allowed me to do that. And doesn't matter how tempting it was for me to try to rewrite some code. Nope. I says everything must be done by the words for a person who does not understand any coding. And I found that solution. Well, let me in this video share with you what's happening. Oh, just just before we jump in this, let me uh, clarify. Programmers, you can still sleep okay. I will show you what problem was also created. But you know, for now, our jobs is safe. We don't know for how long. Okay, so what I was decided to do, I want to build a game. And this is game was sitting in my mind for a long time. It is Demolition Derby. Okay, so point is this. Right here, I going. I can select different type of the driver. It, it was in my head. Idea of this, I can customize my, for the money, I can customize my uh, car. Going and fight with other players or AI on Demolition Derby and upgrade my car. So just very simple game. I don't want to do something clone because clone is easy to do. You just go in some AI and says, hey, build for me Super Mario. Yes, and they already know how to do. No, I want to go from like, pure idea that in my head i'm sure somebody already done this but i don't know who done and i don't not reference i am reference only what i see in my mind and it's what i was describing so i try different application i try like manos i try chat gpt i try all different some of them too expensive they take too many credits you need pay some of them you need copy paste you need no programming you need to do other things so i found this which is absolutely free. Yes, it's absolutely all what you see here. You can do absolutely free for this. You need to go to a AI studio from Google and you're going to build applications. So this is where our starting point will be. So this will build for you your application. It did. And of course, you can guide and it's using new Gemini engine AI. So it's work very, very well. Well, Next, what I done, I went in. You do need to find rules, of course, for your games, what you want to do, how you want to look, what you want to do. In my case, for example, right here, what I was saying, let me explain. I says, hey, I want to go ahead, uh, build my team. Well, over team, build my car. First, we'll go select driver and I specify the driver. It's actually what define AI, AI for my car, because the applications need set up a different players. And how it does, it's going right here, and you can select how many opponents you want it. So they're all randomly generated AI opponents. But for me, what I want to do, I want to select my AI. And this is all represent different type of AI. Some may be aggressive, some defensive, some run try run away, all these different type of AI. So you can hire your driver. Next, different type of chassis. By the way, all of this images it's all generated by ai well in a not this one this cannot generate images but same with the google absolutely free it's a image effects i will put link down below for you so you can generate all of these images and just import them in your project i will show you how to do this again no programming just drag and drop okay then you're going to select chassis what you want you can notice chassis is changing on the top like shape whatever you're doing yes like truck there you go pick up truck and you can specify i i did not do any programming i just tell machine how to do this well not how to do what i want to see it and next you can select your different type of engines notice the money money going down and you can your plating which is you can add additional uh what kind of offense defense uh tank how much gas you want to use it so all of this right here, and you can see it's actually tell me like, oh, this is my maximum speed. This is how much it's weight. Kind of very cool. This is all AI did for me. I just says, uh, 
this is what I wanted, and I want you to figure out for me algorithm. AI did, it's actually figure out for me. So after you're done, well, here's also AI assistance. You're going inside the lobby. You say, hey, I want nine appointments, and you can start playing. Well, here's the thing. So it's a five, four, three, I tell them to do this, and it start fighting. So here's a couple things. You can see when they collide, they kind of run around. That will come back to this, because these points where you start tweaking little bit and tell what to do but generally you can see it's actually looking at each other it's found and by the way they don't see each other i tell this depend on how heavy is car how armor plated it can be see far away or closer bad point that's happening and right here you can see the old head <laughs> none win right now but definitely we need to work a little bit more with the game engine here and i will show you so this is one thing and other things also it's easy to deploy when you develop here because it, this is actually your development environment we'll look on this in a second this is what you do but then you need a host somewhere and i want to do this easy way to host well the problem is if you're going right here and you're going says hey deploy to a cloud run it's what they doing here and you're going in cloud run and cloud run usually give you this weird address and i uh you know what i mean try to spell this to your friend so instead what i actually done i go in a register derby crop craft that app so i actually registered this domain name and uh, you know what um i found a great place you can register it's called pork bind uh pork bun uh, great place uh if you go with my link down below it's you will have an additional discount so extremely cheap well you know what let me explain you better here this short segment is sponsored by porkbine if you're looking for affordable domain name registrations or web hosting porkbine is a great choice simply reliable and oddly satisfying to use in 1996 i registered my first domain at bcode.com at this time is only one provider who can register network solution and i pay whooping 200 dollars yes it was 200 dollars just to register one domain for one year but left this another player step in the market and the price drop down it seems like now we have a bigger choice but service is not exactly the same for example when i was switched from google domain to squarespace the price double but service decrease about on half as well and in my quest to try find the better service for same low price i discovered the pork bun and then not surprisingly it's grabbed my attention because they're not just to provide domain registrations, they can also provide very affordable web hosting and it's come with a lot of free stuff. For example, you have it your free who's privacy, you have it your free SSL certificate that you must have, URL forwarding, email forwarding, Cloudflare DNS management. All of this come with the registrations and prices is unbelievably low to the point I'm transferring a lot of my domains and I do. I have many, many, many domains here because it's provide better service and I save a lot of money on this. If you are interested in this project, check description below. I will drop link specially for you so you can go and check for yourself if you like it. And beside, I do like the pig. It's kind of cute and funny. What I done at this time, went and click build. I put it my explanations here, what I wanted and just what I explained to you. The best way probably for you, it is write somewhere in a document so you kind of clear up. After this, when you write, I went to chat GPT and I asked chat GPT to clean up it's just because my English for my money of you natively speak English, maybe it wouldn't be a problem and just go and paste inside here it's all what you need to do so our next step is take thinking and it will create it here's the things uh, what's happening um it did create code and it's using typescript so you can see right here you have it, your preview on the side as creating okay right there it's have a different and you can see it does create a lot of code by itself well code is not bad and i'm speaking from point of the programmers just if you by the way if you're interested i will put it my link it down below so you can go and check my experience how many years i programming uh, 30 something give you a tip what languages and just with the typescript 
I was programmed for probably last nine years or something working in that environment. So I'm kind of familiar with this language. And tell you the truth, it's when I says it's hard sometimes when I look, it does make sometimes mistakes. And I'm just like, hold myself, says, nope, I won't touch anything. So I absolutely, guys, I'm seriously, I did not do anything to this code. I just look and some was very painful. <laughs> I'm seriously like, let me show you, like right here, if we go up on top at one time, it is, you see, it's a JPEG. It decided to put it PNG and I have a JPEG and I'm like, oh, can I just go type there? And nope, my goal was absolutely not typing, just only things. So if I see here, I can type and says, hey, image is not showing. Check them. It's all what I was doing. I did not even tell replace PNG on JPEG or on any stuff. And this is how done. After when you work on this, you actually can update. So right here, let's look on this specifically. This this is my next version. Yes, because I developed one. I don't like how engine work there. And I says add. Okay, let me just move a little bit right here. So I says rework my gets more retro so you can see it's work a little bit different it does have it, its own problem here uh number one problem it's take long time well a long it's not mean how it's generated code long it's when you communicate it because all of this file this is one single file and we look how many lines of code it's 736 it's take me maybe four hours to write this file it's all uh, maximum, okay, with the engine, with all this stuff. So it's not that big file. It's very easy to do and develop if, if you're a programmer. Uh, but it took me about two days to get to this point because something that happened, I go back. And sometimes I notice it's maybe misunderstanding me and try to go back and uh, repeating same errors. So it kind of still kind of raw, this not all the way done. So the program is why I say you kind of save because for now uh, you can do much faster and probably a little bit better. The other problems here as a programmer, I can say here's an index, but if we, um, and I don't know, maybe I put somebody to sleep about this, but let me show you. Right here, you can see styles. It's decide to put it styles inside the HTML file. Usually good programming will separate and put it separate. SAS or CSS, depending where you're working on different style file and using so you try to separate components it's easy to manage easy to debug and uh, kind of easy to modify sometimes here is in this case it's not always the case because if you look on some of my other project i try to run from here because i never do just one project then it's a little bit different for example right here when i was creating a mario clone you remember it says it's created very fast very easy to create super mario clone it's created but right here you can see it's create multiple different files it's green sprites and other things or for example here's create something more sophisticated with comfy ui and all this other interesting things that can work and you can see it did create a bunch of different files so I don't know how it does decide in this case to just make one file or multiple. I wish it was a little bit more at the beginning. You may be at point of your luck, you know, if you, how it's worked for you. But generally it was here. It's all steps what I did it, it just guides. So it's meaning, we'll just minimize here. Here is my screen. I can look and you can see it's different design. If you'll notice also, for some reason here, it did not display images, even images like it did here. It decide in my developing environment not to show those images, but they work just fine when you deploy, like right here, when you deploy this, those images, they're showing with no problems. So it definitely was something in this. And when I was working with other projects, images showing, okay. Well, it's a beta and it's free. Well, here is example what I did. I modify all information for example you don't pay anymore for the who you want to select and by the way if you need it you can go after and just click after build again add additional ai and with after build ai it just going and customize for you you can see just selecting optimal variations if you need it a little bit different different you also can change name color color go to the lobby here's a little bit different because before you select here you can actually also just select, but it will create 
up opponents. So you can see the logic change, but it's what happening. When I develop one game, I says, hey, I don't like it. For example, I says the um, I don't see gas gauges on the car. And you know, this one, what you're asking, it is really related to your idea, but you don't need to communicate with a code. You only need to see you test it here. Something does not work. You just specify this way. Oh, look, see, it's and it's after fix as well. Error, like right here, come up with error. And it says, see, it's come up and says, hey, I found the error. I don't know why. Now it's a, we'll go and fix it itself. And that sometimes does on automatic. If it's gone true, have an error and it's testing itself. So it's very sophisticated. I was really surprised a level what is that can create for you. But it does. It's created full game. It's workable game. I will drop link down below for you so you can go and play. Remember, maybe next time your comments will look a little bit different because I still experimenting. I still developing this game but zero code absolutely no coding nothing i'm try even i check the code honestly yes i do check the code sometimes but just only curiosity and i'm trying not to change anything not even a reference to the code like for example oh these functions look wrong change these functions no my goal let it ai to do everything and create it well I hope you will go and have the same fun or create your own game. If you do, let me know. Drop link below. Remember the register the domain name. Doesn't matter what the service you're using. It's a little bit better than just provide this weird long name. It's helped you a lot. And of course, you can change this if you're going inside the domain mapping in your cloud, which is total everything absolutely free. For thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.